wanted to know where Lee was, where my husband was. What did she tell you? She said something about separating being a bad idea. And then she told me that she left him. She left Lee while he was still breathing. No further questions. Essentially, there are three attorneys and three witnesses in each round to our team. And so each attorney is going to direct the witness once, and each attorney is going to also cross-examine the other team's witness. Our trial is an event where there's witnesses and attorneys. What I just did was I was the directing attorney, and so there's also opening attorneys and closing attorneys and a middle attorney. You have to write down the very first word that comes to your head right now, and then you have to hand me the sheet paper. Go. Mock trial teams across the nation are given the same made-up case loosely based on facts that occur in the real world. This year's case is a scuba diving incident. When people come into mock trial, it's from all sorts of backgrounds. You have people that want to do pre-law because they hear the word mock trial and they think of, okay, I need to do something that will help me get into law school, prepare me for law school. But then we also have medical students, we also have art majors, we also have engineering and medical majors because once you start to talk to the people in the program, you get a feel for how it helps them in public speaking and how it helps prepare them to think on their feet. So all those tools, no matter what people go into, be a law or anything else, help people really build those skills. Lee showed me the brochure he'd had in his study. He said it'd be the perfect anniversary trip. That was just my direct examination. So Eddie was my attorney, and then I, he was just asking me the questions about about what happened so that the jury can get a better understanding then of, of what role I play and how this has affected me because I was obviously closest to the person who died while I wasn't on that dive, but I, I knew all of the events leading up to it. When I'm on the stand, I want to make sure that I'm portraying Andy Allen, not, not Megan Sherburn. I just do mock trial because I love it. I do mock trial because I've gained so much from it. Not just speaking skills, but I've gained friendships. I've gained the most amazing experiences of my life. The trips we've gone on, all of our adventures, I guess. There's just, you can't compare it to anything.